makes me so happy. For singing about our parts in time. Keep on crying on every fun of dime. All right, so another Valiant hacked by the cobbler. In this case, it appears as though he added a whole bunch of relays to do the TR switching of the Johnson Valiant. So let's take a peek inside and see what uncobbling I must do. All right, so here is the main area of concern, this little jumbled up mess. Obviously at one time, the original keying relay failed in this Valiant. So somebody, instead of finding that relay, added this. So we have an AC power transformer, little cap flying in the breeze, and an ice cube relay. So that guy provides 12 volts to key this relay. It does something else I'll show you in a minute. And back here are your high voltage capacitors. They're not moving around much. I'm not too concerned, but that needs to be cleaned up too. So let's swoop up here. Oh, but on the way, if you take a look behind this choke, there's been some blasting going on. A lot of arc welding. I need to investigate that. All right, up here, here is the monstrous antenna changeover relay. The 12 volts that keys when you key the mic also pulls in this relay. Okay, so this is an antenna changeover. This wire coming off the back of the coupling switch would normally go to the SO239 antenna output. Now it has to go through the relay first. And then you have another contact for your antenna of the receiver. So if you take a look around the back, you can see your antenna jack and the RCA for the receiver antenna. And then if you zing down here, there's your receiver mute, right? That's also coming off of that relay. And if you look over here, you can see he kind of crammed that guy down there really close to the case of this choke. But it's not touching. I don't think that's the source of the arc welding. So here's what we're going to do, guys. The uh, person that owns it wants all this removed. He wants me to clean it up and install the D-Lab push-to-talk module in its place. So I'm going to gut all this out. We're going to remove this relay, reconnect this transmitter like it used to be when it was stock, and she should be good to go. All right, before we get too excited and I start removing all these components, I want to test the Valiant, make sure I have output, make sure we don't have a light show going on here behind this choke. It appears as though this thing's been changed. I do see some scrape marks back here where it looks like somebody attempted to clean it up. So I'm just going to key it up. We're going to watch the relays do their thing, and let's look for output. So like I said, the Valiant is warmed up. I've got a dummy load attached, and we're going into his push-to-talk system. So let's see if it ever did work. I, I'm sure it did. Here we go. Okay. Do a little mic gain, see if we got any modulation. Oh yeah, she's working. A lot of buzzing going on. I can hear that relay buzzing away. So anyway... This is not such a great idea, guys, to put the TR switch inside of the transmitter. Because if these contacts get pitted or have any issues and you lose the coupling to your RF load, it can damage the transmitter. And then guess what you get to do? You get to tear it all apart and either clean or replace this hard-to-find relay. You're always best to use an external TR switch with your muting on that switch. Okay, Leave the Valiant the way it was. All right, let's tear it apart. All right, we're going to do this one step at a time. So first thing I want to do is just get this antenna switching relay out of here. Okay. Unfortunately, that's not going to go back direct to the SO239. It's been cut. That's a bummer. Let me get some of this craziness out of here. Just get the stuff out of the way, reconnect the RF output, I'm going to inspect the uh, coupling switch and everything else in this area, make sure nothing was hurt. I really don't think it's going to be too big of a deal. One relay removed. So that little uh, 
AC type outlet that they're using for muting just had these spade terminals so that just fell off. This black wire you see here is the 120 feed it goes over to the TR switching system so I'm going to remove that too. All the hardware on this thing is looser than a goose so I'm going to go ahead and get that out of there. We're also going to remove that other antenna relay type jack so that there's no confusion that the system's actually been removed from the Valiant. Alright, so I have the output connected direct to the SO239 from the coupling switch. I do see evidence of a little bit of arcing here. So I'm going to clean that up. And then I was looking down here at the back of the band switch. And if you look really close, super hard to see, but right in there, it's like a solder glob. I don't know what the purpose in that was because of the rest of the switch looks fine. So we're going to have to investigate that a little further. Alright, let's carve out this nifty little push to talk system. So this wire is actually tagged off of the filament switch for the 120 for that transformer. So I'll have to get in there and remove that. Obviously, you've got a bunch of other things here. They need to be just taken out. We're not going to reuse any of this. There's some hardware underneath for getting the relay and the transformer disconnected. Let me get that out of there. But it appears, though, all the original wiring from the harness is still here. So that's a really good thing. That means my module can drop in, wire that up in minutes. All right, another pile removed. Now, my module needs to sit right down here so that the existing wiring can land on it. So I'm really concerned about the proximity of this high voltage filter cap to the module. So I told you I was going to clean this up. So what we're going to do is I'm going to land some terminal boards over here, move these caps away from the switching area and make it nice and neat. Well, there's our high voltage caps securely mounted on terminal boards. The wiring is well away from the push to talk board. Now it's time to get that wired up. All right, we're coming along on the push to talk system install. I connected the easy wires first. So this black wire is actually just a ground coming off of this terminal board center lug. The green wire is the six volt filament supply. Okay. You may think, well, I can just grab that off of a tube, but I prefer to chase that wire along the chassis come up here and connect to pin 7 of the accessory socket. That 6 volt AC, very accessible. Okay. Now, there's something I need to point out, and this is critical. You see this brown and white wire? If you look at your schematic, this is the high voltage supply that used to go to the old relay. Okay. So there's like 300 volts on this wire. You do not want to connect this wire to the new push to talk system. Remember our switching now is based on six volts AC. So it's gonna put around uh, say 12, 14 volts DC on your mic. Whereas this old system, you're shoving like 200 volts in there, right? So no, do not use this wire. Clip it off, insulate it. The other wire that I've connected is the actual push to talk wire, which is a white one, okay? That wire goes to the push to talk switch and your microphone jack. Okay, so easy way to verify it. Hook up to the wire with the ohm meter to ground and flip your plate switch. There it is. It grounds it. So in the old system, that used to ground the low side of the push to talk relay, and it still does that in this system. So right now I will post the drawing of the Valiant push to talk system, which I just put into this transmitter. So as you can see in my drawing, I do not specify wire colors. I just show the contacts of the relay. There's a reason for that is you may have a Valiant that has a different color code than the one I'm actually working on. Now, this is the factory wire harness, but I cannot guarantee you that those colors are correct. So that's why I left it generic, okay? So this side of the board does your keying circuit, okay? So this is just a ground. And this wire goes to your mode switch. Over here, the blue-orange is the 120 volts 
and that's being switched to the high voltage transformer primary and the little crystal TR switch socket on the back of the radio. Okay, Front sets of the contacts which are the normally closed are not being utilized in this application. So the push to talk cobble job is now uncobbled. Mission corn pleat. Let's go ahead and retest the Valiant. All right, the Valiant is ready for retest. There's my grid drive. We're going to go to plate. We'll key it up manually first. Good dip. Putting out to about 150 watts. And here is the new push to talk board in operation. All right. Oh yeah, we're talking. All right, so you can see the installation of push to talk into a Valiant is a piece of cake. It's actually a good thing that the cobbler got in here and messed it up because it gave me an opportunity to clean it up and put in the new module. And man, does she talk. Are you having single last week, D-Lab? My cobbling goes from C to shiny C. Yikes!